Smartphones have become so much more than just productivity tools. They are the great social devices of the generation. We're using them to experience life in so many new ways. People are buying much more than just a piece of hardware and software when they buy a smartphone. They're building experiences. The reality is that Nokia invented the smartphone. And from the start we have aimed to make our smartphones with the highest functionality, sleek, compact, reliable and beautifully designed. And they are for everyone. Today I want to show you the first members of our new Symbian family of Nokia smartphones. But before we look at that, what these devices can do, I'd also like to get something off my chest. A few critics have looked at the screenshots of the Nokia N8 and said, What's new? It looks like the same old Symbian. They base their first impressions on fonts and widgets, not on what the device can do, what's under the hood. That's like dismissing the performance of a new car with all new turbocharged engine before getting in and driving it. Just because the dashboard looks familiar, you have to drive it. That's what you do. Symbian is the most popular smartphone platform on the planet. And Nicholas just showed you the numbers. Since we introduced the Nokia 7650, the first Series 60 device, we have shipped more than way over 300 million Symbian devices. There's a number for you. With the new Symbian, we made the Nokia smartphone experience faster, smoother, easier to use, more intuitive. But we have kept the good features and logic that are familiar to the millions who already own and love their Nokia device. I call it the familiarity of the new. And one point for developers, the fragmentation that Symbian was the legacy of for old Symbian, forget about it. This will soon be a non-issue. Our goal with the development of the Nokia Cute SDK is to ensure you develop once and you develop for all of our smartphones. With the new Symbian, we build in greater platform consistency from device to device, generation to generation. That means less customizing and a broader distribution base for the application, broader than anybody else offers in this world. Listen that, developers. And hopefully you have all seen or heard about the Nokia N8 since we launched it a few months back. But I'd like to share a few highlights before we move on to our other new smartphones. The Nokia N8, beautiful device, is a very important milestone for us because it's the first to take Symbian forward to the next level. Its features are beautifully designed, world-class hardware and completely new user experience but with the familiarity of the new. We think it's the start of something truly big. People who have tried it out have been thrilled with it. If you haven't tried it out, we've got plenty of NAs here at Nokia World. So please do give it a test drive, like you could do with the new car, not just the dashboard, but try it out. The N8 is available for consumers to pre-order in some markets and I am happy to report that the response actually has been strongest we have ever seen for any product that we have brought up. As some of you already know, the Nokia N8 has the best camera ever in the mobile phone. But you actually also know that it's really not fair to compare the N8 to a standalone digital camera only because the N8 does so much more. This is a non-compromised camera. It's got 12 megapixels, 
just to make a really good sensor. It got Charles uh, card size optics, the leader in optics in the world, a Xenon flash, and the result is photography. That's absolutely amazing.